amyloidosis is a very, very common disease. It's about as common as old age itself because amyloidosis builds up uh, besides in certain disease conditions in every elderly person as well in smaller amounts. Amyloid protein for many years was mysterious and now the exact structure has been uh, worked out and we can see its various types. Uh, the most common type is called AL or amyloid light chain and you could probably think of that as buildup of immune proteins where it have been chronic buildups of light chains, for example, in multiple myeloma or chronic granulomatous diseases. That's why these two kinds of diseases show an extremely high association with amyloidosis. Uh, another type of amyloid protein is AA, and it's not really quite fully uh, immunoprotein, but it's Amyloidosis still, as a general rule, is regarded as a buildup of uh, immune proteins. The, uh, am the amyloid, which we see as uh, in Alzheimer's disease, as the cause of Alzheimer's disease, is called beta amyloid. And it's, uh, it's a little bit different from the other two, but nevertheless, it's amyloid and shares certain immune uh, features as well. Where does amyloid build up? Well, it builds up in blood vessels, and that's the primary and early area. Uh, as the process gets more and more extensive, it goes beyond the uh, purview of the blood vessel itself and affects whole organs like kidney, spleen, liver, heart. So very significant dysfunctions of these organs in patients with uh, amyloid. Uh, uh, is very, very, very common. And kidney is probably the single most common place. Here's a uh, blood vessel, and it just happens to be, looks like it's in the liver to me, but if I'm not correct, I apologize. If you do a stain called a Congo red stain, you'll notice that in the wall of some of these thickened blood vessels, you can see some reddish irregular deposits. Well, here's the trick, folks. If you then take Congo Red and now put this tissue under polarizing microscopy, you will see certain areas that are green. Not the shiny white stuff, but the green stuff. And here's the uh, trick. Green birefringence with Congo red stain is amyloid. It's nothing else, it's amyloid. So before we had electron microscopy, this was a common way of identifying it, and it still is a very, very common stain used in amyloid biopsies. Uh, wherever you have chronic uh, buildup of immune proteins like multiple myeloma, chronic gran granulomatous diseases like TB, these are always areas that have a high risk of amyloidosis. Uh, dialysis patients uh, get buildup of uh, amyloid. And the thing to remember is that there are uh, heredofamilial uh, examples of amyloidosis. And when you have a so-called pure familial type of amyloidosis, most likely it's going to be primarily limited to one specific organ, like a heart or a liver. Uh, and you should also remember that in the multiple endocrine uh, adenomas are also associated with uh, amyloid as well, and specifically medullary carcinoma of the thyroid, which is common in some of the MEAs uh, characteristically is loaded with amyloid as well. Last but not least, uh, I probably have a little bit more amyloid in my blood vessels than you do, unless you're 61 years old, because uh, amyloid normally builds up in blood vessels with aging as well. So you can't always think of amyloid as uh, something that's not related to the so-called normal
normal uh, aging process. Well, this uh, represents the end of the uh, chapter number six on diseases of immunity. And uh, I've enjoyed myself making this one. I've varied a little bit with the methodology, uh, but I very much enjoyed uh, uh, making this movie as I have always enjoyed delivering it to live uh, student bodies as well. Uh, thank you very much. We'll look forward to Chapter 7.